John Monette with Sonics Aircraft. We're standing in front of the Subsonics jet. We understand you had to make a couple of uh, changes on this airplane recently. Tell us about that. Yeah, well, this is a proof of concept uh, airplane. Really, it's my own project, but we're used to monowheel airplanes. We thought that might be a good idea, but when we went to the new PBS engine, it has so much thrust that it was bringing the tail off the ground before the airplane was ready to fly. So that made it kind of hard to steer. So uh, we have retrofitted a tri-gear. Uh, eventually that may be refined to a retractable nose wheel, etc. But for initial flight tests for the, for the concept, uh, we think it'll cure that problem. How does this airplane fly? Well, we haven't flown it yet. This initial flight test, uh, high-speed taxi tests and everything, but it's licensed and it's ready to fly. So as soon as this little party is done, uh, we'll be able to get down to concentrating on the flight test program. Now, you said that this came up when you added a bigger engine to the airplane. Tell us about the new engine. That's correct. This is a PBS engine that's uh, from the Czech Republic, and it's a full-feature jet engine. The one we started with, the concept started with, was really an overgrown model airplane engine without a controller, without all the systems. But the PBS is uh, such a neat engine because it's... Uh, totally integrated. It has an oil recirculation system, alternator, automatic startup, shutdown, everything that's built for the aerospace industry. So it's a legitimate plug-and-play engine. So that really has uh, sped up the research on, the, on this type of aircraft. You said you expect initial flight tests to begin shortly here after Oshkosh. When do you think this airplane will be available for people to have in their hangar? Uh, not any sooner than it, when it's ready. We already know some, a few things that we'd like to change to, for creature comfort, etc., the cockpit design, and ultimately decide on the landing gear and everything. But the concept was to do a really simple, affordable jet. As it stands right now, today, if you had the PBS engine uh, if, uh, bought it with, with the airplane, you could probably build this aircraft for under $60,000. And what kind of interest are you having in it? A lot, a lot of interest uh, ever since last year when we debuted it. Uh, you know, the personal airplane to go around and terrorize the neighborhood and just have a really good time. Expecting a lot of, of wannabe dogfighters maybe to be in your customer base? Absolutely, and aerobatic jet teams and all, all of the stuff that went with uh, the VD-5 jet way years ago, but uh, this one is, uh, uh, truly would be affordable airplane. Aero TV is brought to you by Freedom Through Innovation. It's what led us to develop Cirrus Flying 2.0, the framework for a bold new take on private aviation. And as a result, the gap between the aircraft we produce and those of our competitors continues to widen. Cirrus knows where the personal aircraft industry is headed. We're already there.